Greetings everyone and welcome to this new series on meta-analysis. This video series is intended to be a primer on meta-analysis with room left for further videos to fill some lacunae left. A meta-analysis is a method of statistical analysis that pools summary data, for example means uh, relative risks, from multiple studies for a more precise estimate of the size of an effect. It is a process of combining the findings from all the studies to obtain a quantitative consensus of the body of research on the underlying research question. It also helps to estimate the heterogeneity of effect sizes by pooling lots of data which would not have been possible in a single primary study. Meta-analyses improve the power, strength of evidence and external validity that is the generalizability of the study. It helps to reduce the chance of failing to detect an effect that is present, which is also known as the type 2 error. However, it is usually limited by the quality of individual studies and bias in study selection, which might reintroduce type 2 error in the analysis. One of the important roles of systematic reviews and meta-analyses are to replace untested clinical recommendations with evidence-based medicine. After setting up a protocol, searching for relevant studies pertaining to your review and including the most relevant studies which fits the including criteria which will be discussed in a separate series, we will extract data from different studies into an excel sheet as we can see here. The data which are to be extracted may be in the form of means and standard deviations, events and sample sizes, 2 by 2 tables, odds ratios and confidence limits risk ratios and confidence limits, chi squared values and sample sizes, Cohen's D and sample size and so on and so forth. Here we have a fictional data set of 10 studies where the average number of violent episodes in a year have been measured in people who have been playing violent video games since adolescence along with control groups. The study column as we can see here represents the author name, the mean number of violent episodes have been shown in the mean column, the standard deviation columns represent their namesake and n represents the number of people recruited in the study in each group. The type column illustrates the genre of the video games and the year column illustrates the year when the game came out. After entering this data from individual studies into our sheet, we will now proceed to calculate effect sizes for the studies under standard errors. Doing so, helps us to standardize the outcome of all the studies and use it effectively to compare and use data of different studies. It is important to do this first step in a spreadsheet software like Microsoft Excel since literally any type of data can be converted into effect sizes like means and standard deviations, 2 by 2 tables, t statistics, chi squared statistics and whatnot. Alternatively, effect sizes can be calculated automatically using several online free of cost services such as the Campbell collaboration website. Effect sizes can be in the form of correlation coefficients, odds ratios, relative risks, hazard ratios, Cohen's D, glasses delta, edges G and much more. To know more about effect sizes, I have made a dedicated video explaining the concept. In this case, we will be using Cohen's D and the formula is the difference of the means divided by the pooled standard deviation. The formula for the pooled standard deviation is as shown in this excel sheet which can be seen right here. This is the formula for the pooled standard deviation. And after we have calculated the pooled standard deviation by entering this formula into this cell as we can see here and after calculating the absolute mean differences between the mean number of violent episodes between the groups exposed to the games and the control group. We can now proceed to calculate the effect size which is simply the mean absolute mean difference uh, divided by the pooled standard deviation. The standard effect of the of this effect size uh, which in this case is Cohen's D can be calculated with the help of this formula. Your omega is calculated with the help of this formula. This is only used uh, if the sample size of the study is small, uh, which is less than approximately 50 samples. 
So after calculating the effect size and standard error, we are now ready to upload uh, this uh, CSV file into uh, JASP and that will be uh, shown in the next few videos. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.